Rich Berryman and Wayne Urschler are both 84, have known each other since first grade. Both still live in Columbiana, and both were key players, Berryman and Urschler, on Columbiana High School's 1947 Class B state championship team. The open man always got the ball. There wasn't a big ego in the whole squad. It was, it was a team. Yeah, we were good. Yeah, we were very good. Columbiana of 1947 was a town of 3,000 people. The high school had only 79 boys, but had developed a reputation as a basketball school. The 45 team finished second in the state. But early on, no one was talking about the 47 team. I had this pair of socks with a red stripe on the top that I bought. And I put them up in my locker and I said, we're going to wear this in Columbus. I was the only one that was mouthing off. Our expectations were... Uh, not state champions, I don't think. We thought we could be a good team because we had a great coach. Columbiana's coach was a young John Cabas, who would later become a legend at Salem. And they also had an all-stater named Lee Thomas. Everything was a two-hand set shot, but Lee could, he could drill him. He amazed people sometimes uh, in games with his ability to shoot the basketball. When it came time for the state tournament, Columbiana had lost only once. It beat Ridgeville, Springfield, and a one-point win over Lowellville sent the Clippers to Columbus. Wayne Urschler would wear his socks. In the first game, they put up 77 points on Corning, at the time a state tournament record. We pressed an awful lot. Uh, pressed every game, we pressed all over the floor. And that was one of Cabas's things that he really, really liked to do. And, and they were easy to press, naturally. And, when you're doing well in the press, you can score points. The state championship game was played on Saturday afternoon, March 22, 1947. 7,500 people at the State Fairgrounds Coliseum, Columbiana against New Knoxville. I think everybody had butterflies in that game. They had a big center, name was Cuck, and he had scored 31 points in a semi game, and uh, he was good. But we had a way of uh, getting, him in, getting him into foul trouble. The story ran on the front page of the Vindicator. Columbiana wins 43-34. The Clippers were the 1947 Class B state champs. There was a picture of Rich Berryman kissing the winning ball. He kept it and a few years ago donated it to the Columbiana Historical Society, where today it's displayed in an enclosed case. For their efforts, each player receives small copper basketballs, though later the people of Columbiana raised enough money to buy each one a gold watch. Rich and Wayne both have theirs. The trophy? It's prominently displayed outside of Columbiana's gym, and inside the gym, there's a plaque. Wayne Urschler? He entered the military and eventually retired from GM Lordstown. He still thinks about the championship. Especially in basketball season, I, you know, reminisce back, you know, on that. Rich Berryman, he returned to Columbiana High, where he taught and coached for 38 years. He still attends every game, both boys and girls. When Columbiana built its new gym, they named it after him. He, too, often thinks about that magical season. It's just one fantastic feeling that a bunch of kids could get together and from a little town in northeastern Ohio and, and win the state championship. It's just unbelievable.